Welcome back to Chasing News. I'm Bill Spadia. As we wrap the show up tonight, I've got a heartwarming story for you. Jeremiah Dirks is a 12 year old little boy in Indiana battling cancer. And one of the things he looked forward to the most was coming home from his chemotherapy and being with his dog. Well, unfortunately, that dog passed away a little while ago. Enter three retired Jersey City police detectives. They decided to do something about it. Joining me now is one of those heroes, former detective Ed Dolan. Ed, welcome to Chasing News. How are you? I'm doing great, Bill. Thank you for having me. So tell me, let's start at the beginning here. How did you learn about Jeremiah Dirks? What happened? And then we're going to share with everyone what you guys did because it involved an RV, a new dog, and a 720-mile trek. Well, Bill, about five months ago, um, I learned about 12-year-old Jeremiah Dirks' battle with a rare form of bone cancer and his affinity and love for law enforcement. So what we did at the Jersey City Police Department is we made him an honorary member of the Jersey City Police Detective Benevolent Association. What we did is we sent them a blue line handcrafted flag with a letter congratulating him on his promotion to the rank of detective. Two weeks ago, we found out that their family dog passed away. We know how much that dog meant to Jeremiah. We reached out for the home for good dog rescues. Our retired detective, Al Lopez, him and his wife, Tony Ann, do an amazing job. We settled on a one-year-old purebred shepherd by the name of Shiloh. Then we had to figure out how to transport Chilo to Kokomo, Indiana. We went and rented a, uh, uh, a large RV and packed up for a 14-hour journey to Kokomo, Indiana to meet the Dirks family. Just let me ask you, what was the reaction on Jeremiah's face? What was that moment like when he saw the dog coming out of the RV? I have never seen a young man light up with so much joy and happiness. It was like Christmas Eve opening up your presents. It's even hard to put it into words, Bill. Ed, thank you. You're a good man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Bill.